Smoke and dust was seen rising among the buildings in Beirut's suburbs on Saturday from Israeli strikes on the Lebanese capital over the last few days. In Lebanon, authorities said on Friday that at least 60 people were killed and 168 wounded in the past 24 hours, raising the total toll over the past year of conflict between Israel and the militant group Hezbollah to 2,229 dead and 10,380 wounded. Israel has been escalating its campaign against Hezbollah with waves of heavy airstrikes across Lebanon and a ground invasion at the border, after a year of exchanges of fire. Israel is now at war with Hamas in Gaza and Hamas ally Hezbollah in Lebanon. Israel's offensive in Gaza has killed over 42,000 Palestinians, according to local health authorities, who do not say how many were fighters but say women and children make up more than half of the fatalities. The war has destroyed large areas of Gaza and displaced about 90% of its population of 2.3 million people, often multiple times. It's been a full year since Hamas-led militants blew holes in Israel's security fence and stormed into army bases and farming communities, killing some 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducting another 250. They are still holding about 100 captives inside Gaza, a third of whom are believed to be dead. Residents were assessing the damage on Friday after Israeli airstrikes on central Beirut a day earlier killed at least 22 people and wounded dozens as they left two neighborhoods smoldering, Lebanon's health ministry said. The air raid in the capital apparently targeted two residential buildings in separate neighborhoods simultaneously. It brought down one apartment building and wiped out the lower floors of the other. Rescue operations were taking place in Burj Abi Haider where an entire building collapsed. Mohammed Tarhani was sitting in his living when the strike hit. He was displaced from Eba in southern Lebanon due to the constant Israeli airstrikes there. Where is one supposed to go now? Israel says Hezbollah is hiding rockets among civilians. America and Israel need to know that Hezbollah would not hide rockets among civilians, he said. The Israeli military said it was looking into the reported strikes. Israeli airstrikes have been far more common in Beirut's tightly packed southern suburbs, where Hezbollah bases many of its operations. Bilal Osman, a resident in the neighborhood, said, most of the displaced people escaped from the south and Dahia because Beirut is considered safe to a certain extent. There is no sign of anything here that raises suspicion or doubt to justify the neighborhood being struck, he added. After the strikes, Hezbollah's Al Mana TV reported that an attempt to kill Wafik Safa, a top security official with the group, had failed. It said that Safa had not been inside of either of the targeted buildings. Thursday's strikes followed a year of tit for tat exchanges between Hezbollah and Israel that boiled over into all out war in recent weeks, with Israel carrying out waves of heavy airstrikes across Lebanon and launching a ground invasion. Hezbollah has expanded its rocket fire to more populated areas deeper inside Israel, causing few casualties but disrupting daily life. The attack came the same day Israeli forces fired on United Nations peacekeepers in southern Lebanon and wounded two of them, drawing widespread condemnation and prompting Italy's defense ministry to summon Israel's ambassador in protest. Before the latest strikes, Lebanon's Crisis Response Unit said Israeli attacks over the past day had killed 28 people, bringing the total to 2,169 killed in Lebanon since the war erupted last October.
نحن مجنوب جينا عند خيل هربنا يعني خلاص من كسر من كسر جينا عند بيت خيل بس كنا قاعدين على البراند الاولاد نحن قاعدين بالصالون فجاه ما شفنا الا شيء دفشنا لجوا قعدنا ظهرنا لبرا نحن اخواتي صرنا نبرا على الاولاد هذا بيت خيل هون يعني محل ما خيل ما يجي وهم بده يروح الواحد قلت لك اسرائيل انه حزب الله مخبي صواريخ بين العالم خلي امريكا وكل العالم تعرف اسرائيل حزب الله ما بخبي صواريخ بين العالم ولا مش عادي يخبي صواريخ بين العالم المنطقة منطقة سكنية بامتياز يعني اغلب الناس حين اللي نزحوا من الجنوب ومن الضاحية قاعدين عنا هون لانه بيروت تعد آمنة حد ما يعني وهون بالمنطقة عنا ما في اصلا نهائيا وجود لاي شيء يثير الريبة او الشك او انه تنضرب المنطقة منطقة سكنية كلها مدنيين عزل 